Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a really short filler video on how to do this question called POW XN on lead code. So the basics of this video is already covered in another video of mine called Modular Exponentiation. So go check that video out if you wanna study it deeply. And I also discuss different ways to do this because in this video, we're just gonna be doing it in the optimal way, right? So do check that out if you get stuck on anything or you can just comment down below. But without any further blabbering, let's try to find out what they're trying to say. So this question is very simple. Uh, they'll give you x and a number n and they'll ask you to find x raised to the power of n. So very simple and you can do this with a loop actually, but well, that is not very efficient because the number here is you know, the number can be huge. So we have to do it in the most optimal way. In this case, it's gonna be, you know, exponentiation that we're gonna do. So let's go through a mathematical concept. I mean, it's not really a concept, it's, it's a basic thing, but still, let's go through that to understand it even in a deeper way. So x to the power of n can be written as x to the power of two multiplied by, I mean, not multiplied by, raised to the power of n by two. So these two are the same things, right? So what we can do is, uh, we can basically in each step, we can multiply x with itself, and we can divide n by two, and it's gonna be the same thing, all right? So we can keep on doing this, we can raise this, and we can keep on bringing this down, until we have all of our values, like in, in x, right? And then we can just return the result. But one thing, like the n doesn't have to be even all the time. So whenever it's it's odd, we're just gonna subtract one and we're gonna multiply x with the result variable so that our result gets carried, you know, every single time. So I'm not explaining it deeply, but if you want a comprehensive explanation, just check out my, my other video on this, as I explained. So let's start coding the actual program now. So before anything, let's check a basic condition, which is if n is zero, we're just gonna return one because anything to the power of zero is one, right? So we take care of that. Now, one thing, um, the exponents can be negative and which is not a very big deal. We just have to take care of that at the end. So at any single time the exponent is negative, we just divide the result. I mean, we just divide one with the result, right? We can just return that. So that's not a big deal. We can just take care of that in the end. But right now I'm just gonna be coding the whole body of the program. So let's let's code up uh, the actual body, and before that, we're going to declare a result variable. So let's call it a result and one. It's gonna it's gonna be multiplied with x every single time n is odd. So it's gonna have our actual result. So now let's do the loop. So every single time n exists, so while there is n, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if n is odd or not. So if n is odd, sorry, if n is odd, as discussed, we're gonna subtract one from n, and now it's even, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically multiply x with the result. So now the our result is carried on, right? So x is carried on to result, and now we can just keep on doing this until we get our answer. Else, what we can do is, this is our main thing actually, we can multiply x with itself and divide n by 2 as we discussed so because this is going to be the same thing we saw it so and this is it actually we can just return result and we'll be fine but now we have to take care of the negative exponents so how do we do that basically we can just have a boolean set so boolean negative and it will be set to false at first so if n is less than zero, we're gonna set it to true. So we know that. Now, if negative, we're gonna return one divided by the result because if you have studied mathematics, you know that it's basically the same thing. That we're just having the reciprocal of that, right? So yeah. Now, one more thing, by the way, because we're just uh, if the n is odd, we're just subtracting one from it. But if it's negative, if we subtract one, it's not gonna be like it's gonna go on the different direction, right, of the number system. We have to add one to it. So, so to take care of that, 
I uh, just have a ternary operation in here. Let's do this. And it's less than zero. What we're gonna do now is we're just we're just gonna like add one to it, or else we're just gonna do this. Well, so the normal thing. And now our program is actually ready. Let's try to run it. Uh, okay, this is gonna be end. Oh, actually, double. Let's run it. And it works. Let's try to submit it. And it works and it's faster. So yeah, guys, uh, that was it.